what's up my fellow friends this is EB and we are going to be talking about the anatomy of button inputs and we'll be talking mainly about um, multiple and sequence inputs we don't need to talk much about single inputs because you know that's not with when everyone knows what a one button press is but things get interesting when you go to multiple input and sequence inputs so without much further ado let's dive in and of course at the end of the day we will we'll try and understand which one is better levers buttons and keys but the answer is a bit not as easy as it looks anyway without much further ado let's start so let's start off with mr mr mario so we are going to we have the uh, nest pad here all we need is three inputs all i need is the forward button button a and button b to explain what i need to show you so what happens is that you will know if you press button one you walk forward a you shoot so this is forward you shoot and then this one you jump and but what happens if you press forward plus shoot plus jump what happens is either nothing happens because all the actions are cancelled or two what happens is you either you know walk forward you know or you are going to jump or three are going to shoot nothing happens when you put all three things together but here is where it gets interesting is usually games like mario you could run as you shoot or you could jump as you shoot such things can occur but uh, not more than three inputs not more than three inputs now we'll dive now to fighting games and why they are a bit interesting in how they handle the inputs it's because um, if you usually press like the old SNK games if you press so for here we're going to use the forward button the down button and the punch button which is crouch forward and P what usually happens is that if you press multiple uh, buttons at the same time you will get different actions so what happens is if you press down generally you'll crouch if you press forward usually you'll walk and if you press a you're going to punch mm, punch punch which is all fine and good but what happens when you press down for uh, plus forward plus uh, a okay what happens is usually when you press this three things can happen you could either crouch uh, no need to write it again you can either crouch you can either walk you can either punch or the fourth option which is coding into the system is you do a fireball but the trick is this it doesn't happen all the time why it's because of something called a sequence this is what was the trick and the solution to many problems 
in games, especially things that deal with many, how the game could handle many inputs. So what do I mean by this? So what usually happens is that you know very well, we know that if you have a button that you crouch and a button that you walk and a button that you punch and you want at the end of the day to have a fireball by having different inputs, multiple inputs, how does it come and usually happens so when you press down you crouch when time is equals to zero so that means just it's instantly when you press walking forward the character walks forward um, when the time is equals to zero immediately and when he press a he punches immediately so what happens is that if you press all these buttons together the fireball code doesn't know what to pick, whether it was to pick A, B, or C, or D. So what happens is people decided what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to do something simple. We are going to set up what is called a sequence or you could call it a code or you could call it a series however you want to call it the idea is just to split uh, these events so that they happen at different times to make your work much easier so the game knows what you're talking about it's not just too much stuff at the same time so what usually happens is if you press down it does that times zero, that, 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 that. But for it to be easier to understand, for the computer to know that you're talking about a fireball, what usually happens is they set up a series whereby if you press down uh, forward and then A, get a fireball but still it still is a, still a bit vague How's the, how does the computer know that you're tapping on these items specifically down forward and A how does it know it's not complicated what usually happens is that the computer follows inputs coming from each input has codes now i'm just trying to make this as simple as possible but each input has codes so for example up let's use let's say is but is value code one left value code two down value code three forward value code 4, A value code 5, and B value code 6. So we do this here again. So up is equals to 1, um, left is equals to 2, down is equals to 3, right is equals to 4, and then 5 and 6. So this is A, and then this is B. So with these numbers, it will help you to now start coding the fireball with these numbers because you have assigned each input to a number. So for example, a, a fireball would be down forward A, which would be down, we can map it here, down is here is 3. So if, so actually we can do this if code is equals to down he says 3 and then forward is equals to 4 and then a which is equals to 5 so if the code is equals to 3 4 5 trigger 
event you know fireball and that is as simple as that guys that is as simple as that i will go more into details in the next video but i just wanted to give you an overview of just the anatomy of how inputs work now the thing is we're coming to the last question which was what is better um levers buttons or keys and the answer all depends on how your system deals with this information what i mean by that is number one to answer this question what is better levers button or keys number one it depends so if you know if you see a lever you know a lever i mean is i don't know how to think it goes like that then you have sensors here like nubs there's a cross view cross section view of the lever then we have a pivot here so this is would be one two and then three and four so it depends so if you turn this lever front and back it depends on the distance between the this sensor here uh, the point to the sensor so one it depends on the distance and what i mean by distance distance of you know this you know the part to the sensor what i mean by this point particular is whether your finger can trigger this button to the sensor faster than the lever can. That's what I mean by distance. Because keys are on two different sections of inputs. If you turn, so if you turn this lever, so if the lever takes longer to activate this to here, then your finger can tap here then a lever is better but if you're slow to tap the key and the lever is uh, yeah so if you're faster tapping the key then the lever moving from left to right or down to up or down to forward then the key is better but that it gets a bit more complicated because you have the distance apart to the sensor you know using either your finger or the pivot or um, or two you know the speed of the input you know to the game and then three how the game uh, processes the code when i mean code i mean the series of numbers and four how the game processes the action i'm trying to simplify this as simple uh, simply as i can but the idea is that if there's anything hindering or oh, the so depending on the game because you remember each game has their own method of processing um, the code and every game has different from processing the action so it depends on many things so it depends on the game engine how it processes the data the speed of the input and as i have just said whether it's faster for you to use your finger to move from a to b or whether the lever will do it faster so I, the answer is either or or all are better it all depends on the user one and two it depends on the game engine 
not all game engines will use uh, the same method of processing the code and information so it depends on the user it depends on the game engine. some games might be better some games might be worse so without uh, done guys I'll hold it there till the next video if you have any questions let me know this was just a uh, introduction into my series of how to make um, video games and the plan was is that um, to help you guys to build your, your fighting game and yeah let's hope it goes according to plan I wish you all well feel free to like and subscribe and as always have a magnificent day be safe take care bye bye